All right, this video is really for anybody that's interested in making an ultra-sensitive um, vibration detector that they're going to be interfacing to a microcontroller or something like that, and they want to do it cheap, DIY. So uh, essentially what you need is uh, to get a piezo element out of an old smoke detector. And here's the piezo element down here. Um, I just cracked it out of an old smoke detector. Um, this, th there's some that have uh, 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 two pins on them. This one has three pins. Um, the, out the outer ring is ground. And then there's two inner um, inner pins. Um, I'm just using the bigger of the two, and um, and I found a circuit that's basically a uh, comparator. I'm using uh, an op amp. Um, I'm using sin single voltage, uh, which makes it really simple. Um, my voltage supply is five volts, and um, I'm essentially um, using this piece of element as the input to that circuit, which I will go ahead and post the link to because uh, somebody already covered that. Um, here's essentially the schematic on that and uh, he's using some CMOS uh, op amp and I just replaced it with an old uh, LM741 70s 80s um, basically out of my junk pile um, the VCC on mine as, as I said before it's a single voltage supply VCC is uh, 5 volts and um, so no need to run a dual supply and the output in this particular case is running an LED um, as you can see kind of in this area right there and uh, and that's essentially it. I just use the same values that he used, um, and uh, it works perfectly. It's really, really sensitive. All the stuff that I found myself, um, uh, there's a lot of uh, Arduino-style um, uh, vibration detectors, and uh, they're all garbage. Um, you want to you get something that's ultra-sensitive, this is a really quick way to do it. So essentially down here, um, it, I think the circuit is live here, um, what I can do is just Barely, you can see I'm already touching it and it's barely kicking off. I'm barely touching this thing and I'm already getting it registered. So, essentially, what it's doing is just comparing the inputs. Um, uh, and this, the, the small amount of voltage coming out of this little piezo element is, is being detected by the uh, comparator and it's, uh, it's sending a positive signal out, so, uh, out, the, uh, out the output. So, that's essentially what it is. Um, I'll go ahead and um, post, like I said, post the link below. And uh, you can see the, uh, the other gentleman um, that uh, created the sensor in uh, interface. And it's super simple. And so hopefully this helps you um, because I was having a little bit of trouble. So that's the only reason I'm posting this. So anyway, good luck. Bye.